Persistence. <sighs> Bleed it. Pull up on your block and I bleed it. It's like if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Why got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the mean. Pull up on your block and I bleed it. It's like if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Why got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the mean. Fuck a handgun, bitch. I brought a Mac in. Gotta keep a tactical in case a nigga hack it. Glock with a dick on my lap, I'm in traffic. My pistol bloated, ready to unload it. Pop up, least expected, like a notice. Famous crib, everywhere I go, people notice. I started to notice, you gotta watch the people closest. Dozing off in his bins, cause I can afford not to focus. Glock make them disappear, hocus pocus. I work too hard, bitch, I'm never lacking. I told pistols, you niggas typing all captions. I'm really popping, you niggas need to stop capping. Pull up on your block, then I bleed it. Slide, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Walk got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the meat. Pull up on your block, then I bleed it. Slide, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Walk got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the meat. Pull up on your block, then I bleed it. Slide, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. I don't get mad, dumb nigga, I get even. You been rapping, I just do this on the weekend. They don't want to believe it, so I had to repeat it. They envy me, I'm envy you. This is my season. Creeping in the Jeep, turn this bitch to deeper creepers. Treat my bitch like a pistol, no such thing as keepers. These bitches throw away, bust once, then I throw away. I'm a fly crit, baby, I don't know no other way. Pull up on your block, then I bleed it. Slide, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Walk got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the meat. Pull up on your block, then I bleed it. Slide, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Walk got me pulled, but this tech got him lean. Never let the beef get cold with the meat. Tumble it straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blood in it. Little mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, dropping the dope in the stash. In Italy, got too far and hoes, they deal me. Draw the top, when it's cold, but you feel the heat. Be real with me, keep it 100, just be real with me. Eat it up like it's a feast, they say the dope won't flee. Fuck a set deal on me, I saw my nigga baby chill with me. Them niggas that fucked in the back don't say nothing, them niggas are kill for me. Back as I count in my sleep, on fleet. My niggas spit on that patty for leave. For bitch, I'm a dog in my tree. Hop out the frog and leave. Mm. I put them bricks in the fender. My bitch, she walk around like she Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. I used to break in the Emma. Then take up running like the game of Temple. Whew. It's simple, I play with a mantle. Mama said she saw me on Jimmy Kimmel. Canada, cause I'm a money symbol. Walking with these rats, I'm looking crippled.
the ship. Who's gonna take the two? Who's gonna slip in it? Look at my ID and when my range to live. Look at my ID and when my range to live. Lower is my youth and more does that let the ship. Who's gonna take the two? Who's gonna slip in it? Look at my Huh? Can I smell my teeth? What about it? Sounds like wa the water from that. Hard water. A little bit, but it won't kill us. Nah. Fine. Make the discussion easier to follow. With.
Oh, I can change it. He locked me away to watch time pass like a film I could only look mistook myself for a cracked glass reflection couldn't recognize the skin the sunken the complexion my weakened frigid fingers but a memory still lingers the prettiest of days when I was wide awake colored by sun rays my smile wasn't fake my teeth they grind though my jaw may ache sunk in the lake extremity shake for my drowning security Tucked in my grave beneath the waves, the world's a haze of dirty lake depriving lungs of purity. My heart is racing, I know I'm alive, and my heart is slowing, I know I'll survive. Though I feel myself growing stupid from the meds, there is food I can stomach that'll get me out of bed, so... Kiss me awake, unchapped lips through crinkled sheets. Blissfully wake me from dusty, moldy, medicates. Good night.
my tongue he locked me away to watch time pass like a film i could only look mistook myself for a cracked glass reflection couldn't recognize the skinny the sunken the complexion my weakened frigid fingers but a memory still lingers the prettiest of days when i was wide awake colored by sun rays my smile my teeth they grind though my jaw may ache sunk in the lake extremity shake for my drowning security tucked in my grave beneath the waves the world's a haze of dirty lake depriving lungs of purity my heart is racing i know i'm alive and my heart is slowing i know i'll survive though i feel myself growing stupid from the meds so there's food i can stomach that will get me out of bed so kiss me awake on chapter my home now agitated the fear it came it infiltrated i am conquered now my hollow stare is slipping sanity Thank you.
Ja.
Music is not only an expression of sight, it's a carrier. Could soul be a matter of being brave enough to be vulnerable? To acknowledge the risks of being vulnerable and willingly accept them nonetheless? Music that voices deep pain, yet somehow transforms that pain into beauty. By a kind of alchemy, it makes the bitter world the hauntingly bitter sweet.
Do 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 do
Oh, Fractal. <laughs> Let me, uh... I don't really like this mix. I only like the first one. I've been trying to crack an El Gamel encryption for a bit, and I generate like a 80 gigabyte file. And I didn't even check to see how many lines in the file there was to see how many keys I tried because I had like Just ran it to go from one to like some incredibly hard high number and uh, of course I didn't get any keys <clears throat> So I'm trying to really figure out how to crack this challenge Even though I don't think it's like brute forcing a key. I think it has something to do with like sending in something to encrypt I don't know why like, if I can show you what I'm talking about in this challenge when you connect to the box. No, that's not the one I won't care about. This one. It generates keys, it gives you PGY, and says the encrypted flag is C1 and C2, and this says send me something encrypt. When I type in something like 5, right? 05? Ooh. Man, I hate this fucking box. Generate keys, you send something. Here's your encrypted message. Oh my god, it finally did it for me. Uh, blaze it. Usually it wouldn't even encrypt. It would just say blaze it. It would just say fucking blaze it. So the fact that it encrypted my 05 <laughs> with that PGY, I might be able to like find out what the key is from that small ass M. Since I know how many bits the M is, uh, the 05, which is the message that I'm trying to encrypt, the M. I didn't know that the program did that. Now that I know that the program does that, I might be able to apply some, sh some shit. I don't know. The fact that I can generate keys over and over. This is good info because they didn't, this is the first time I was able to do that. Blaze it. I guess I gotta give the, the shit time or something, I don't know. <sighs> Let's try a different message, like just... No, no, no. Come on. Double O seven. Boom. Oh, that's good, man. I'm telling you, man, it was not working like a little bit ago. The encryption is called El Gamel. El Gamel. I've been researching it a few days ago and I take a break for a few days, but I'm back at it. You get a P, a G, and a Y. You get a P, a G, and a Y. And then PyCrack has El Gamel on it. And not PyCrack, but PyCrypto. Um, Here's another shitty write up on it. And this one I'm reading right now because I finally like I came back. So I'm reading about how they're doing this thing called the meat in the middle. But there's got to be a way to crack it. If I kn if I can get a small message or some sort of message encrypted with the same key, you know, without me knowing what the, what the what private key is. I think I can figure it out. <sighs> I just don't know the math. Implementing several attacks on plain El Gamel encryption. Oops, that page doesn't exist. 
El Gamo attack. Yeah, no, I'm like, I'm gonna forget the math real quick. Like, it's not worth knowing the math when everyone uses different variables. Yeah, the fucking El Gamo wiki is not fun. <laughs> I like this one has pictures. The El Gamo wiki is too much math. Like, this, I don't even know what it means to be like a cyclic group or whatever. And everyone decides to use their own special variables and but of course it's yeah they're like clocks but like and then they say it's of order of this like i don't know if that matters like for this meet in the middle attack it says you have to guess the n which i think is the cyclic group size the order of it says choose integer so i i figured out like sort of the constraints like the P is my prime, my prime number. The G is going to be what they call the generator. And the Y is the public, I don't even fucking know. The public key? It, it doesn't make any sense because this whole thing is a key that gets sent. C1 and C2 are the encrypted message. The way El Gamo works is it takes C1 and C2, um, sometimes called A and B. Um, and it's plugged into the formula in a specific way. Algamo Encryption Yeah, I don't like this Wikipedia page, it sucks D No bueno you, Geeks for Geeks probably has the best write-up on it <laughs> Because it also has some Python code But at the same time, I don't care about that I also don't like their variables Like, I guess the best one is Pi Crypto? Do they talk about it here? Nope. Yeah, I have no clue where I got my info on it. The PDF, the actual paper from forever ago sucks. This example is the best one, I guess. Like, it shows you the map. And it uses the same kind of variables. The prime number, G the generator, and Y, I have no clue what the LY is. And my goal is to get X, or yeah, to get X so I can decrypt uh, uh, the actual message. Like here it says A value and B value. And that's the C1 and the C2 which they're handled differently. But I'm giving up on this site. Going back to my uh, ghetto example here. <sighs> and it's 384-bit encrypted. Um, El Gamel, and I don't even know if it's the elliptic curve one, which that would kill me because I don't know anything about elliptic curve cryptography. <sighs> but it doesn't matter. I'm not really trying to decrypt with a brute force. I feel like there's got to be an attack I can do just from the fact that I can encrypt my small messages. Oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't. Like, I wasn't like... I didn't go to any specific security classes. Plus, I haven't been to school for since 2013. <laughs> My first CTF I did last week, two weeks ago. The dictionary. The dictionary. Too bad they, they 
deleted this paper. Alum B MSTF 08. There we go. Uh, brute force attacks. <laughs> oh boy. Brute force attacks are class attacks, blah blah blah. If it's five bits. Oh Jesus. Okay. Asymmetric encryption, small cipher, small plain text attack. Attack model for cryptanalysis, which produces an attacker, can obtain the ciphertext for arbitrary plain text. The goal of the attack is to gain information that reduces the security of the encryption scheme. Modern cipher is aimed to provide some ethics. Uh, okay, just tell me how to do attack. In a chosen playtext attack, the adversary can possibly deathly ask for the cipher text of arbitrary playtext messages. This is good, that's what I can do. This is formalized by allowing the adversary to interact with the encryption oracle, viewed as a black box. The attacker's goal is to reveal all or part of the secret encryption key. It is maybe it may seem feasible in practice that an attacker could obtain cipher text for given plaintext. Oh, we're modern. Blah, 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 blah. How does it become more extremely important in the context of public key cryptography where the encryption key is public so attackers can encrypt in any plain text they choose? Batch chosen plaintext attack where the adversary chooses all the plaintext before seeing any corresponding ciphertext. It doesn't matter. How does it work? The attacker chooses end plaintext. Parameter is specific to part of the attack model. I just need to type chosen chosen plaintext El Gamel. A known plaintext attack on El Gamel encryption. Assume that Alice and Bob's little gamble key is two eight. To send two messages, M equals seventeen and M prime. Alright. Using the same random editor K. Eve intercepts the ciphertext and somehow she finds the value of M equals seventeen. Eve intercepts the seven from the value of m equals seventeen. Yeah. Show how Eve can find m prime. Mm. No. I can only send one. One mod P is always going to be one.
Whoa. C1 is always the same. That's scary. That is very scary. How does C1 get calculated? Nothing with them. Okay. Y to the power of one mod white. I know this, and I know this, and I know this, I can get K, which is a random value. <sighs> okay. Okay. One is weak. You okay over there? <laughs> Alright. But I know him. I know him. B log K. I don't know if that's how it works. Log K. Log K of B equals Y 
Mod P. What's DPL? Oh, you never mentioned. I don't have like the hardest knowledge on crypt on uh, encryption, like huge, but apparently it's bigger than most others. <sighs> Fucking, you're never gonna get Y. You can only get a possible set of Y. Well, P is fucking huge. Why well, can't be bigger than fucking P? That fucks everything up. I don't know how this algorithm works, man. Yeah, I know what DPL is then. Dynamic password lookup. Uh, I just thought that, that was something we use at work. Uh, I, I mean, we use some bullshit called... Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, DPL. We don't use that anymore at work, though. We moved on to, like, some other kind of tools. Man, I don't know how to do math, man. I'm fucking stupid. I knew it. I I knew it I knew it wouldn't be anything special. I'm not a solve this. I think log cake can sit by itself. Oh shit. It's a log of four. No. You're not. My brain is fried. I can hardly keep away this. Spent a lot trying to do tree processing. So let me see if I can destroy you. Are sending it a cipher and getting back? Yeah. No. 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 Whoa. I'm sending it the plain text. All right. Wait up. Let, let's say first what's happening. I'm talking to the service. It's giving me the El Gamo the key the public key the pgy and it's also giving me the ciphertext which is c1c2 and then it says send me a message to encrypt so i'm assuming it's encrypting it, it with the private key that it encrypted the the flag with that i need and then it gives me i said encrypt one and it gives me c1 and c2 but the cool thing about this is i've been noticing the c1s are the same here but then that makes sense because if you look at this page here, C1, which is A in this case, uses G mod P, right? And the only thing with the ciphertext has has to, uh, um, the only thing that the, the plain text has to do with the ciphertext is the C2 slash B value, where it's M mod P, right? And mod P fucks everything up. But mod P is such a big, such a bigger number Unless I find K, because K could be a huge number too. So I think that's what they're trying to encourage you to find K. Um, maybe not. I don't know. It's supposed to be a random value. Help you calculate, you know. I don't know. Message sent. Select the random K, which is basically like se selecting the private key. So I don't know, man.
We can blow my mind. Bob has the key. BGY. Blah, 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 blah. Especially if I sent an M as one, it, it, it removes this completely, right? Like the M, like it's just YK mod P. That's why I drew it out here. YK mod P equals B. And I have B, I have P, I have Y. I just need to get K. But the problem is K is gone, or usually should be gone because mod P. Like you, you lose the whatever the number is because you're modding it and you're getting the remainder. But I mean, I really don't think like the number is high enough anyway. That's my guess. Like this is the higher number. I mean, the K m might make a difference. K to the two, this might be two times this, like might be a fucking huge number. Um. Anyway, so I noticed that this C1 and this C1, the one I sent in and the one that's part of the flag is the same. The same as before when it generated the previous key. That C1 is the same as this C1. Um, but every time you start a new session, it regenerates the keys and regenerates the, the, the public key and the private key, right? I don't know. I, I just sent it one because I know what it is. Uh, C1 is being kept constant. Yeah. C1 is being kept constant, and part of this other attack is like, if you know the bit, I don't know, I don't know, fuck it, I'm not gonna guess, because this, this is a whole different attack I'm looking at here, the meat in the middle attack, but I don't think I need the meat in the middle attack. Like, I don't know what some of the things in this attack are. Like what the variables mean, but I know I have. I know for a fact that I have my the the plain text right that I can get encrypted. I need to find people that tell me how to do these chosen ciphertext attacks or chosen plain text attacks. Chosen cipher to the attack model for cryptanalysis where the cryptanal cryptanalyst can gather information by obtaining decryptions of chosen ciphertext. No, it's the opposite. I have a chosen plain text attack. Maybe I didn't read that right. A chosen ciphertext attack, CC8, is an attack model for cryptanalysis where the cryptanalyst and gather information by obtaining the decryptions of chosen ciphertexts. No, I have a known plaintext attack. Or chosen plaintext attack. <laughs> the further prevents chosen by using randomized. Chosen. Chosen. Yeah, N is the order of the group, but I have no clue what the fuck that means. Like, like they don't mention it in that easy peasy one here. Like, it just says, hey, get a prime number and then get a, a generator, which is P minus one, between one and P minus one. So all from that, all I know is like the generator, the G has to be smaller than the P. But then if I look at other documents that talk about this L Gamel shit, they say the generator has to be some fancy formula. I think this is Zalen, all integers. I don't know what that means. P, I don't fucking know. <laughs> this probably means like all the integers that are in up to P, you know, that generates a cyclic subgroup of, of order N. I don't even know <laughs> where they're pulling that out. What is the order of the group says it is an N and a normal cyclic group. Choose one as your message. Let them encrypt it. Then multiply C2 by N minus one mod. What are you talking about? Why? Let them encrypt it. Multiply C2 by N minus one mod N. 
Hmm, I want to understand this. The inverse of the message. The inverse of the message? You mean like, like fucking, if it was zero, one, zero? I mean, zero, one, and I inversed, inverted it, it would be one, zero? Or are you talking about like one would be one over one? <laughs> If you multiply C2 by the inverse of the message, you get the secret. Hold on, I might be off. Maybe I should read Wikipedia then. A general attack method. The attacker may choose N plain text. The attacker send these plain text. The send the attack. Okay, the attacker receives N ciphertext back from the Oracle such a way that the attacker knows which ciphertext corresponds to each plain text based on the attack pairs the attacker can attempt to extract the key used by the oracle to encode the plain text since the attacker in this type of attack is free to craft the plain text to match his needs the attack complexity may be reduced consider the following oh yeah there you go yeah you just got wrecked let me unban you Um, what is the word that they do when they shut you up? Uh, mute? Unmute? Command. What? 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 Regulars. Let me make you a regular first, okay? Before you get banned. Did it work? All right, all right, you back, dude. You back, I think you back. Try again. I think you can post now a link. <laughs> the tables and shit. Jesus. Post it, post it, my dude. How do I fix you? Oh, yeah, this is regular in El Gamo. Just in the encryption section. I mean, the decryption of the security section is what I think your attack vector should be since C1 is being held constant. Well, C1 is always held constant, but not between keys, like not between sessions. But it doesn't matter. I could only encrypt one time. And L Gamel does that. Like, G, what I'm trying to say is. C2 is what takes the plain text. That's all I'm trying to say. C1 does not take the, it is not influenced by the plain text at all. You can see G, which is the generator to the power of Y, which is a random integer from Y to Q minus one. What was Q? Q is a private key. <sighs> Yeah, so, but it's just, ooh. It, it, okay, so technically it is a different one, but not for the session. Like I, it only lets me encrypt one time, right? And then it switches out. Like I'm gonna close this out, connect again. Hopefully it connects. Generate my keys. It says, send me a message to encrypt. Encrypt. Encrypt two. It didn't do anything. Encrypt one. Right? So the keys here are different. T1 
207, 13, 64, 29, 19, 72. But between each encryption, like the ciphertext C1s are the same. But that makes sense because G and Y are the same. <laughs> yeah, G and Y are the same in both of these computations. It's just that M is the only like factor. M is factored only in C2. So I still think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be that bad. They just I just know now what one of the variables is cuz which is the plain text. So the idea is for me to try to hack out the k, I guess. I don't remember. I also don't trust some of these freaking algorithms. Like, I don't trust this algorithm right here. It doesn't make sense, really. B. Oh, boy. Anyway. So, BYP. Ooh. Fuck his paint. Oh my god. <laughs> Here it is. Why my P? Why my P? Of course it's the same as Y. It is log K B? B? Times math.pal log dot. Uh, no log. Ooh. What's K? Oh, I have to solve for it. Okay. I forgot to do math, man. and you had an equation Y mod P, Y mod P, it is Y, LKB, LKB, Y mod P. Log X equals, doesn't fit, I fucking hate this program. You log everything.
Prepare M for encoding. Write M as a set of integers in the range. These integers will be encoded one by one. Alice first needs to find a key triplet. It's infeasible. There's no way I can keep choosing new primes. I can collect a set of all the primes that it's chosen before. There's no way I can keep choosing. There's only so many primes. <laughs> I don't know if I can infer anything out of that.
No fucking way. Who wrote this shit? I didn't think there were that many primes.
take it forever. Just to dig me out with silver spoons No, I can't see it coming Oh Old walls that I'm stuck inside I guess beauty sees what I can't find I didn't No, I didn't see it coming Well, I got my friends in the sky You're melting I'm watching you Oh boy. Can be proven that attacker can take full message if he knows some pain sorry protect pair. Assuming you don't use countermeasures against the kind of attack a chosen cyber attack attack works as follows variables P is prime is a generator private key B is public key, okay. <laughs> chosen at random. Alright. No, all the following equations are mod P. That's dangerous. Suppose you want to decrypt the ciphertext C. Which is... Can't read.
I can guess K. I can guess K. If you're still around. I can, st I, it's, this guy says, I can trick the Oracle, the server, to give me M by giving it M prime prime, where M prime prime is something called M prime times M. What? <laughs> Wait. I don't know, I'm just reading some random. <sighs> no, no, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'll figure it out. I think, I don't know if I'm supposed to try to find K first, which is the random thing that gets chosen. If I know that M is going to be one. They give you all the requirements to encrypt things first. They give you all the requirements to encrypt things first or not. No, you need to get, they, they hide the, the actual secret key. They give you three things. And in this case, for this page that I'm on, they give you P, which is the prime thing, the generator, which is alpha in this case, but it's G and mine, and then beta, which is Y, the public key. And then K and M are chosen at random, which I haven't found out what K are, or is. Uh. Oh no. I don't know. <laughs> let me let me finish reading this guy's little answer. Yeah, this might be this terrible answer.
Wow. Store the key value pairs in the dictionary and then compute Great pride, hate crime. <laughs> hate crime. Alright. Let's get that night bot going for you. the brand new video featuring my new trick shotting cool to me is kind of being you being someone who you want to be and like how you see yourself in that not really her style and they all got the same heartbeat but hers has fallen behind nothing in this world could ever bring them down yeah they're invincible and she's just in the background and she's <laughs> I know. Damn. Pat, dude, solve my de decrypt this for me.
Brawl M2 Compute And look it up in the dictionary Brawl M2 Give you the look up in the dictionary Create a dictionary mapping to M1 If we find a match in the dictionary, we have found a solution to M is probably equal to M1 and 2. The dictionary depends on and the length of the method we can use again. No, it doesn't depend. I need to read about the math here. Dictionary attack, why? God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. All right, so we'll get into the big book and the 12 steps a little later tonight, but I always love to hear everyone's stories. Why don't you talk tonight? Drugs got me sweating, but the room getting colder. Looking at the devil and the angel on my shoulder. Will I die tonight? I don't know. Is it over? Looking for my next high, I'm looking for closure. Laying with me, pot with me, get high with me. If you rock with me, smoke with me, drink with me. Fucked up liver with some bad kidneys. Laying with me, pot with me, get high with me. If you rock with me. Smoke with me, drink with me, fucked up liver with some bad kidneys. Told her if I die, I'ma die. Yo, every day I've been getting far. Uh, finally know the difference between love and drugs. Shorty tell me I should really sober up. This shit ain't fiction, it's too real, too real. Fuck one dose, I need two pills, two pills. I'm looking for trouble, so I know I'm gonna find it. Ring, ring, plug, hit my phone, perfect time, man. Get high with me if you rock with me. 
smoke with me, drink with me, fucked up liver with some bad kidneys. Does that mean I can get half of it? Wait... Does that mean I can get half of it? <laughs> I have to guess the K. Fuck is the point of A, man? Do you want me to just look it up for you? Because obviously you don't know what you're doing. It doesn't even exist. Straight pride him over. Hard. Men working hard. It's called straight pride. <sighs> Distro kid. Oh, money making. Money make a Mitch. Yeah, I'm a straight guy, and I got straight pride. Doing the thick, warm dick in my backside. I like straight times, like grilling with the guys and cracking up in a co on you. This is shit I desire. I love the so this is what you want, Pat. When I'm top, at the club. That's what you want, Pat. I love the straight songs, but my boy Elton John. I play him when I'm making love, baby. You're not long. Cause I'm a straight man, and I got straight friends. Don't want the chicks in the bedroom with their straight plans. We got straight hobbies, like eating biscuits soggy. Slather on that sauce, I want it in my body. My body building, yeah. That's it, you're coming. I'm I'm sorry, man. I won't play it. Where it's at, cause what me on the rat. Hey, check my glutes, bro. There's nothing gay about that. You're not home, but you know that you got a nice rough. You up for some amateur wrestling after the pump. Let me oil your thighs and then a rough. That's too totally straight, dude. It's viral, not till the shot, then it's back to mind. Cross some one to one time. Check out my meat and book a note of love tonight. For you, a couple of hot dogs and a couple of brews. A recipe for messy eating. How I like it. How about you? Come on and fill me up. I never spill a drop. I want to taste your cocktail, frankly, nice and hot. I feel my heart drop, but I don't ever want to stop. Keep on eating till I pop, then it's time to swap. But it's up to you if you want to taste too. We got nothing to prove, we got nothing to lose. It's fine, take your time. We're just two straight guys. Have a straight dinner like straight guys do sometimes. I'm just a straight guy, living a straight life. I'm out and proud, and I ain't ever gonna hide. From the straight closet, far too long. My straight roots have gone unwanted. Let me drink up all your straightness from your straight faucet. If you've got straight pride, then I am by your side. All the colors of the straight flag are flying high. Fuck what they say, I ain't living the life. Straight life, bitch, yeah, until the day I die. If you're a straight guy, then now's your time. Every straight I can't even read. I can't even read this. I'm so straight, I wanna cry and kiss her like you kiss your bro. Hey, that's not all right. Look, I'm straight, okay? So that means I'm not gay. Why would you think I'm gay? I swear I'm not gay. 
fucking women, yeah, pussy is what I slay. You love fucking men too, but in <coughs> pussy, I want pussy, I want pussy, I want calm. Wait a minute to say pussy, I want pussy in my bum. Wait a minute, not in my bum, I'm in my palm. But watch your rock card, pussy squirting on my tongue. I wanna feel your stubble up your cheek when you're kissing my neck and taking me from behind. Slide your pussy down my crack, I wanna feel your pussy in my bum. No, 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 no. I, I can look it up, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to crack this shit. Um, so I want to see the different types of methods of attack, and I know one of the attacks I might be able to do, one of the methods of attack that I'm able to do is generate the cipher text from a chosen plain text of one. And so that formula is, um, if it's just one, the formula gets a uh, shit. I don't know if it's an ASCII one or not. It's definitely not an ASCII one. Anyway, so. Passing it on one should, you know, make the math easier. But, uh. It's a little hard. <laughs> Oh shit. Oops.
379 versus 384. Fuck. Oh god.
That's some bullshit. 66 mod 107 What the fuck? There's a fucking padding. Four eight six five six four nine eight nine C three eight.
Definitely padded. don't know the padding, how are you going to solve this? How to remove OAEP padding. Eat all my fucking fingers of this, right?
<laughs> the urge to get ice cream continues to build, even though I may have trouble removing the padding. It adds. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. I can't tell if the, the program is a buffer overflow, but like nobody solved the, the challenge. I don't know if I should move on to a new CTF. I still have ones I can't finish in this one. For some reason. Three solves on this. I think I'll be happier if I just leave it alone. Just try to break this one instead. This one is misc. Let me tell you a secret. 2LJI, 12AI. 21JI, 12AI. Oh boy. Are these uh, indexes? Zero zero AF one two DH. One two th ooh, one two three. One two three. It's three by three. But then there's two. Zero, zero. What else did it go up to? Magic number is eight. I don't oh, fucking know what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Does the number ever go above 16?
So it's a magic number between 1 and 10. Because I haven't seen anything above 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bunch of random strings, but magic number is ten, and then it tells you E. I like this one. This one's good because E is not in here. There's 16 things here. And then there's a lot of this 3x3 three three and 3x3. Three three. So 9, 9, 18 things here. So 1, 2, 2, 2 would be 2, 1, 2. E, e I have no clue what that means. E, e? One, Okay. CTF magic number 16, three by One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I need a creative dude. Where's Dimitri when I need him? Oof. You suck.
12 JH. What the fuck does that mean? There's. Okay, this. Alright. That's a 20. There's not 20 elements, another thing. E. Alright. There's repeating elements, I believe. J's, yeah. So. One, two, three, four. There should be four B just. Well, in this case, there's two J's in the same row. Behave. Oh, this row repeats. This row repeats. Okay. Wait, they look like they just repeat. Yep, they're just repeating. Okay, so what if they're repeating? There's just nine actually here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Magic number is eight. See if any of these letters differ. One I
One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Both these suck. Project 6 is possibly watching this years later or something. I'll just scroll down through the project description and you can stop the video and look at that um, more slowly if you want to. Um, and so let's get to the actual problems you have to solve here. You have to crack the Al Gamal cipher. Uh, these are the statements of the problems. Here are the, uh, the numerical <coughs> answers. So the solution to the first one turns out to be 58719. This is the solution to the hard problem, and this is the solution to the very hard problem. So let's go through uh, the code that solves these things. So I'm um, going to get the solution for the first two from Oleg. Oleg's last name starts with A, so um, and it's also convenient that he usually does very good work and is able to solve these problems. So here's the brute force attack on the on the 20-bit uh, initial problem. Um, so this is uh, Python, so he just checks every x to see if g to the x mod q is equal to h and recovers x. That way. Um, and this is the correct answer. So for problem two, um, he implemented Shanks's baby step giant step algorithm. And so um, here is his function. Find x with baby step giant step, and it takes g, q, h, n, etc. Um, so here, here in the baby step, he builds the table of values, and then uh, defines y. And now in the giant step, you try to find a match in the table of values. So here is, is what, I only made one change to Oleg's code. Which Oleg's code is correct, but there's a little efficiency tweak. So you're looking to see if, if the thing that he calls giant is in the table of values. But a more efficient way to do that is just to, to try, um, to use a try except block. And the reason this is a little bit faster is because it uses the hash table lookup for the values dictionary instead of looking through a list. And, um, yeah, he says that it took too long, but it, it doesn't take too long if you do it this way. And now he finds the message, and this is the uh, this is the correct answer. And this is the solution to the very hard problem, which I just wrote myself here. Here, 
um, yeah, so here's C1, C2, Q, etc. <clears throat> I need to find out what Sage is. Open source mathematical software? Um, so there's a little bit of saging going on here using the sage software. Um, you want to use this dis built-in discrete log function that um, has an efficient implementation in sage, but in order to access it, you have to use the right data type. So I have h here as a number, but I convert it to an element of uh, z mod q. So this is an object that has extra members, like for instance, this discrete log function. So x is um, h log g, because h is g to the x. Now you can get s. Yeah, I, I think I need to use scipy. I don't know what I need to use. <sighs> Scikit? Because uh, I, I, I need to solve this. <sighs> That's been hurt all day. YouTube, song request, kill me. Fucking head is blown up. As um, C1 to the X power, that's because C1 is G to the Y. When you raise it to the X, you get the, the secret S. Um, by the way, the notation here exactly follows um, 
the way it's written and the description of El Gamal encryption on Wikipedia. Um, and uh, so now what? You compute S inverse and M is equal to C2 times S inverse mod Q and this is the correct solution. Okay, so that is the key to this project. Python can also be not hash any string on Python. It has to be of, you want to compare it to the the hash to save some time. Hey, that you cannot use. So to end the statement, you have to return the. Okay, so I was asked uh, about how to solve the. Okay, so what we like the n value, so we need to find the rated. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just run that one. Oh my god, Windows, my life. Okay, so there's the two values there that we've generated. Uh, that one, <clears throat> we'll be able to find the n. We need to find the. And here it's here. Pi primes. Okay, it's the uh, extended Euclidean algorithm. And we'll just copy from there. Mod P. Okay, so we want to print out the inverse. Sure that D here is. Okay. Well, what are you using? Inverse. Pi ECM. Up to fifty digits. Mine's bigger than fifty digits. Oh my God, dude. Hundred and sixteen. Hmm. What will I find? When will I find SciPy inverse mod?
Oh boy. of n mod p. Okay, so we want to print out the inverse. And then, so d times e mod phi is equal to 1. So we'll print out our decryption key. Homeboy is breathing into the mic hard. So, so we have n there. So just copy and paste that. And as we found the decryptor of D, fingers crossed, and we we can rebuild the cipher again by taking the message, raising it to the power of e, and we'll print the cipher out. And hopefully it's the same as the one that we have here, the 5579. And it is. Okay. So it's so it's all all worked. All worked perfectly. Okay. So that's how you solve uh, the RSA generator. Obviously the values that we use in real life are much, much larger than these ones. Uh, but you should be able to, to من غير ما نكمل نحكي برشا في يعني في الموضوع هيك باش نفسر اكثر تو نعملوا الانفيرس مودولير باش نطلعوا ان انونسي دي اللي يعرفوا دونك تحل بلي دونسيتي دي زو انه باش نلقاو او فوا دي بلس Uh, n fois v égale à 1. Le v est bien en bas de ce n'est pas. Ah, ça Donc, on a un Ah, all right. Il y a ici. Il y a un peu de dentier. Donc, les uns à l'autre. Sling. Je vais vous donner un Sling. QQ MIC. Donc, on a un peu de temps. Donc, je vais vous donner un peu de Yeah. Okay, so was that? Where are these people? Number which is to be powered. Power with X. 
Okay, a number which is used for modulus operation. OMG. Oh, and Jesus. Gumpy versus Numpy.
<laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it might explain either the algorithm that they're using to encrypt the the flag that I need is really weak, relatively weak, being 384 bits, or they're using ECC. Um, ECC L Gamma. Ah man, dude, I think what I, I I read a lot today, and either I brute force it, I do certain types of L Gamma attacks, which require me to build certain dictionaries. But the one big thing I have, yeah, RSA RSA is very close to L Gamma. It's still a dis, it's still at the root of it a discrete logarithms problem and prime factorization. So like this is the one good thing I have about this whole thing and I don't know if it's possible to crack this but when I try to when I try to attack there's no way that's give me four byte string uh, that's not it I don't know which one it was there we go this guy he'll give me the public key and then he gives me the ciphertext, but then he says, "What encrypt the new message. So I'm gonna encrypt the message of the number one, right? And if I do it fast enough, it'll do what it needs to. And then it encrypts it for me. So I have the choice of passing my own plain text, a known plain text, and it giving me a ciphertext. So I can then like eliminate part of the math for me. Um, the problem is I don't know if this is using padding and I suspect it is using padding because actually I'm not sure I can't I can't 100% say be certain it's using padding like all I was gonna say is the only thing that should change if I was able to run multiple plain text against the same public private key pair right um, is C2 would change. Um, C1 always stays the same. You see I have two ciphertexts here encrypted using the same key and C1 is the same between both of them. C2 however changes but C2 is an output of a mod so things get tricky but at the same time C2 ends up being this B value And if I know what my, um, what my, uh, what's it called? There's supposed to be an M here for your message. If I know what my message is, which I think it's one, I'm not sure, then it eliminates this variable that I had to run some crazy shit to get it back. Like what I would need to solve is this knowing y knowing p and knowing b if i know all these right i'm just looking for k <sighs> but none of this none of this matters because at the same time, I don't know if the mod would give you a, a nice remainder that it fills this up every single fucking time. But when I, uh, if it wasn't a padded thing, I would suspect that my, my ciphertext would have different lengths, right? Um, if I did like something like one, then it would be a smaller length than something like one, 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 one. So I think this is some legit, um, legit shit. <laughs> Not something easily crackable, but I mean, I've been reading and there are attacks. Known plain text attack, known ciphertext attacks, some dictionary attacks that basically say you don't have to run everything after you've maintained a dictionary and you, I don't know, there's some some math behind it you maintain two different dictionaries 
while computing them. Fucking ciphertext. I don't know. They're on. They're on Amazon. <laughs> they're on Amazon. You know what? Let me finish drinking this tea. Mm -hmm. 4096 the duck though can I ask you some questions the duck I'm glad that you're back <laughs> um, this has to do with crypto I realized from the challenge before that I was trying to break with the El Gamel I don't know if you're familiar if I, if I was there when I was trying to break it um, that gives you the PGY, the cipher text back. I realized that I can send my own plain text to be encrypted. So I sent a one, right? I would send a one to encrypt and uh, I would end up getting a cipher text back. But I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't, I, I can only run it one time before it just gives out. Um, and so I started reading a shit ton about how to crack this stuff. And my little using a library to decode or decrypt El Gamel, given like a key was not doing so well. What are, are the parameters secure? Um, there's, there is a prime number. Yeah. There's a prime number. Then there is something called the generator, G. Then you have the public key, Y. But then the person that encrypts picks a random number from like one to the prime number. <laughs> so, I mean, I already, I was saying that like, I, I already ran a program, took up 80 gigs of space and then ran strings on it to try to see if the key was in there. Like the flag wasn't fruitful at all. Like I was doing quite a bit. So this is El Gamel, which is this similar to, to um, RSA. I think it might even be better. What the fuck? Yay. Calling you? He called me like sometime. Call him back. Call
Sorry, I got some guy that I've been uh, not talking to for like a year. Ends up hanging out with me like one time. And I was like, so uh, why are you hanging out with me? Did you break up with your girl or something? He's like, no, 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 no. And then like four days later, I think he's implying that he just broke. They like formalized it. They broke up. I was like, freedom. Yeah, you can derive the private. I don't know if you're still there, but you can derive the private key. I don't have everything I need <laughs> to derive this. I think it would take like some serious work, like some serious methods. Like there's some weird guy. What the fuck is his name? His name is um something about Ro. Pollard's Ro algorithm. I don't even want to get into it, but there's a really nice write-up on this page on how to crack it. But that's this this page is not about cracking um El Gamel using or El Gamel using um like a a brute force or factorization kind of method for the whole idea of the discrete logarithms problem. <laughs> with the prime um it has to do with creating a dictionary where you start plugging things in and creating a map of this to this and then a map of this and looking up in the dictionary to see if it matches or something like that and then they I mean, I didn't look into it too hard because I didn't, didn't want to like go down this rabbit hole. But they're saying since the dictionary only depends on the public key and the length of the message B, we can use it again. Notably, it doesn't depend on the ephemeral key K in any way. So they're creating a dictionary to crack. Because there's something called, there's like two two random numbers basically chosen in L gamel one when you when you're doing the encrypting um it's kind of weird <laughs> and it's it, every single time you encrypt you pick a new number but that number isn't necessarily like you don't care about sharing it it's not even a private key i don't even know if it, what, what you would call it like i think the person who I don't even know how to explain it. Really don't. I just like this method because I heard about it. Meet in the middle attack. <clears throat> not man in the middle, meet in the middle. Oh boy, I can't think. So there's one method which involves doing some math to create a dictionary, key value maps, 
and then checking against your dictionary if we find a match that we have found a solution okay well all right and so that abstracts or gets rid of like the some numbers in the equation based on mathematical properties um but then there's other attacks like um something about crafting a certain payload if if you can i don't know it's like chosen cybertext attack that's not the same though but i think if you could choose your plain text you could it might be like the same as saying chosen ciphertext. But they're saying like there's a way you can pass in. Why does this work? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Warren, please don't troll me. They're saying that you can create a payload that will return to you the exact. Uh... Oh my gosh. I need to fucking you make your regulars. All right, so I was trying to say, apparently they're saying even with El Gamo, you can craft a certain payload to pass it to encode that will ultimately return to you um, No, no, I'm wrong. Shit. Cast Oracle just to return you M. You have to trick into giving you M directly, which is being done here by the construction of M prime prime. It's not using the same. I can't pass in ciphertext. So this doesn't. This doesn't count. Now that I just realized it, because I'm not get. I can't keep running or trying to encrypt or decrypt with the same keys every session it recreates the keys i can only ask to be encrypted one time so i think that's important because i can make the message really small and trivial which will reduce the math or the equations like knocking out a certain variable but i don't know if that's <laughs> if it's even going to help like, for all I know, it, re it might be, like, really, really hard. I don't know why they throw this at me. Nobody solved it yet. Jesus. It probably is, like, some sh serious shit. Shouldn't be dealing with these zero-solves challenges. Warms, warms, warms. I, sh I should probably just do this one. Two solves. Meaning it's possible to solve it. Jerry's coming over. Are you kidding me? No. Why? I support his ass. I'm like, I 